Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, how's it going? Good, thanks. How you guys doing? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Raul Coley. He's here to hang out with us for the whole show. We're going to talk about iZombie a little bit, and then we're, we're going to get to the big thing that obviously, Star Wars. Mm. You got up very early this morning, right? I did, yeah. So we'll get there in a minute. Uh, but first of all, thank you for coming to do this show. You're like, you, I ran into you, what, like two years ago at Comic Con? Yeah, we, were, uh, we just did the pilot mm -hmm. and we were picked up for a season. So we were going around and there was no interest in this pilot <laughs> whatsoever. But people were still nice and stuff. And yeah, we bumped into you guys at IGN. Yeah. And yeah, we said we'd do this eventually. It was very cool because working Comic Con is like a, we have that room in the Hard Rock and people, celebrities come in and they do interviews with us. And it's very rare where somebody. That, yeah, you're, you're there, man. You're on, Stop. You're on Netflix. <laughs> uh, it's very rare where people come in and they're just like, they, they recognize me and they're like, hi. And I was like, and then I found out you're a, you've been a big IGN fan mm. for like a long time. Yeah. You, were, you were just telling us before we, like, before we started talking that, uh, that you check the reviews. Yeah. You yeah. check the reviews of, of, of your show. I do, yeah. So, um, so I'm, yeah. On the, I'm on the boards checking what everyone has to how, say. Why, <laughs> how and why would you do that? I, I think it's hilarious. Some of the comments are, 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 are really fun. And it's great to just see the banter between everyone. and. Some of them are really hurtful, but it's good. It thicken. It's like calluses, right? Like I'm, I'm guessing it will just I'll harden to it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Kind of. Sort of. Kind of. Like we've been doing this for a while, especially with like the video game uh, culture and that that sort of ecosystem. Mm. And I'm mostly thick skinned to it, but every now and then somebody says one thing that gets right through. They'll it. find something. Yeah. They'll find something. Yeah. It's it's really. I, I would say that it's around. It's like breakfast time. Like if you're like just having the coffee and like first thing in the morning, and it's just somebody's being like, "This guy sucks." <laughs> you're like what? <laughs> I haven't even had breakfast, you know. It's, it's just, hard. It's hard to justify, though. Like, I mean, like you know, we all have significant others that do, that don't work in the same industries as us. And I think the best way to explain it is just like we all have really cool jobs and we get to do really cool things. But like the monkey paw to all of that is that a couple times a day somebody just says the worst thing you've yeah. ever read in your entire life. But then you get back to your desk and there's toys and you get to, you're on a set and you're working with fantastic people. Oh yeah, I mean, there's, it's it's it doesn't really balance out. I yeah. mean, a few negative comments. And I mean, we're very we're very lucky. But for me anyway, I, I kind of haven't really seen anything too bad. Yeah. Um, we just usually get like it, yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm guessing as you go on, it will, it will get so, worse. So so iZombie kind of came out around the time where a lot of people were like, man, there's a lot of zombie stuff. I think mm -hmm. there was a sort of sort of fatigue. Mm -hmm. Walking Dead had already blown up. Uh, people were looking for the next big zombie thing, and you guys came in with this like totally different approach to the genre. Can yeah. you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it was it, the, the timing was a little bit like we kind of had to endure a lot of comments about being a poor man's Walking Dead, and right. like we are done with this zombie genre. And then a show comes out called I Zombie, like, like the app. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was. W w I think people were surprised after they seen the pilot and they realized, oh, this is this is more like Buffy yeah. and and Veronica Mars and. It's not it's not your kind of Romero type um, thing, but we've introduced that too now. The, the, the mythology is kind of growing, and we're able to kind of incorporate a lot more from different genres and pull the best bits from zombie films. Yeah, it felt it felt sort of um, a little sort of grounded in campiness at the mm -hmm. beginning, mm -hmm. and then I think it's it's veering more towards sort of dark humor. Uh, yeah, which which is great because like leaning on the gore aspect of zombie stuff, but making it funny is. It's a very hard thing to walk on, but I'm, you guys are doing it very well. I think the, the campiness is really just, and like the kind of the, the humor, like even, even Romero's old stuff was like, there's a, a comedy element there. Yeah, yeah like having zombies in a mall or on an ice rink. Like it's, and it, it, I feel like that kind of got lost in the more recent sort of renaissance of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess culture. so. I mean, all of it's about, I mean, everyone sort of focuses on the apocalypse, and it's not so much about zombies, it's more about like humans and, yes. and you, know, the, oh, you know, who's worse, you know, The Walking Dead, that kind of idea. But, um, like with ours, it's 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 just a it's really just a coming of age. There's someone who goes through some trauma, and zombieism is a kind of metaphor for anything. Really, it could be an STI. It could be, or, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's it could true. it could just replace anything, and how you then sort of, you know, adjust. Um, but the humor is important, and that's kind of Rob Thomas's staple. So you don't get a lot of sunlight on set. No, no I'm never on location. <laughs> but that's a good thing because in Vancouver, after like July. Or August, you don't want to be on location. It's just cold and rainy. So uh, the other guys, they have to stand out and do all the investigations, and I, I just stay in the studio. Is this like? I mean, this this is this is far and away the, the biggest role you've had so far. But is this mm. like? Did you ever think that one day you'd you'd grow up and you'd be a professional actor and you'd spend most of your time surrounded by fake dead bodies? I sort of did. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Even when we did Comic Con, I had no like. This was my only role. I had no right to ever think I'd be doing Comic Con or right. doing IGN or doing any of that stuff. But there was this arrogance where I kind of 
like sort of did or ignorance where I was like, yeah, it's going to happen eventually. Mm -hmm. Just while I was not booking work living at my parents' house. <laughs> and then when it happened, I was like, what were you worried about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easy, done. It's kind of weird how life life turns out. Yeah. You know? Like I just, like we got, this is on my desk, you know? This do bag. Like yeah. I was like. <laughs> it I looks got, more got, realistic <laughs> than the 97 special That's, edition. It really does. Right? It's saying That's... much. <laughs> yeah, like I, mean, I show up to work and I'm like, morning, four law, morning, Zuckus. Yep. And I sit down and type on a computer about like, oh yeah, we're, just gonna, we're gonna talk about zombies on a show. It's like, why? why? Yeah, why? When we start the show every week, we go to our desks and we grab handfuls of toys and carry them over here. Like it's, we're we've, this we've is the, these are the lives we're actually living. What's wrong with everything? What have we done? <laughs> All right, <laughs> anyway. So uh, moving on, do we want to uh, do we want to take some questions? Or yeah, we, got, we, we, uh, we hopped on Twitter. You can use the hashtag up at noon, uh, just like a bunch of people did yesterday. And we asked uh, questions for Raul, and we got some really good ones. We'll fire through them real quick. We'll do okay. a little lightning round. Egotastic FT says, if you became a zombie for real Z, oh, what that means, which cast member of iZombie would you eat first? Oh, uh, Malcolm <laughs> uh, plays Detective Babado. Uh, he's done like 50 jobs. Mm -hmm. Before he was an actor, he's been in a limo driver. He's worked at McDonald's. He's just like the so list goes that's on. Some good meat. That means yeah, that's, that's, a, yeah. <laughs> the best. Like the, that's like those Kobe beef cows. But they're like, <laughs> it's like if you send a cow to college, it's even more succulent. In yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, if you eat his brain, you inherit so many different. Like you're a Swiss Army knife. Yep. You get so many different traits and qualities. It's, it's awesome like eating now. Kirby. Uh, at <laughs> Magathorpe says, any memorable pranks from the set? Oh, uh, no, not really. There's, we're too scared <laughs> they to haven't do pranks. Them yet. We are like, we're too, we have so little time. Mm -hmm. If you like making, doing a prank and wasting time is just frowned upon. But I always draw dirty stuff. I like, if you, I'm like, always holding a clipboard. Like dongs? Like dongs. Yeah. I, just, I, was, I, was I was looking for I, which word we could say. I always draw dongs. dongs. Panguses? We can say pangus dongs still is cool. okay. We can say pangus. <laughs> okay, we can say pangus on this show. Yeah, yeah. thumbs Producer up. Says, thumbs yeah. up for pangus. Cool. All right. So next, uh, <laughs> Gary the third says, "How do you get your beard so full and manly?" I knew there'd be a beard question. Mm -hmm. It's a good beard. It's I, I don't know. I, I want to say yourself? it's like a a, a a genetic thing maybe. I guess because I'm Indian. Mm -hmm. Indian hair is supposed to be like it. Yeah. Like that's what people get for their weaves and stuff. So hmm. I'm guessing be Indian. I didn't know that. People get Indian <laughs> hair for their weaves? Yeah. Wow. So there are loads of like there are loads of kids hair. in like yeah. Calcutta that like are bald because they're shaving the heads and selling the hair and side note, I feel extremely insignificant standing next to you. Yeah, how's that working out for you over there, Brian? Hair. Like what the hell? Well first of all, you can't grow a beard, so this Yeah, well is like I'm doing okay. Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, we got another question from Phil Addison four. He said how would he rank his top three zombie movies? Ooh. Um, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. 28 Days Later. Yeah. And then Night of the Living Dead. The nice. original, original, the, original, the original, black original black and white. That's such a great film. That's a good lineup. It's an awesome yeah, I'm not going to argue with that. That's uh, It's such a, such a dark film, like the fact that it just ends with racism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, I thought well, zombies yeah. were the problem, but nope, it's white Spoilers, people Spoilers, yo. <laughs> but no, if you've never seen the original Night of the Living Dead, the, ri the original zombie movie, it's actually royalty free. You can watch it on YouTube right yeah, after for, this show. Sure. Watch some weird old black and white stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, uh, Greg Kolesnik says, what video game character would you play in a movie? Oh, Joel from The Last of Us. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Just because cool. I get to wear flannel, right? And yeah. I don't have to shave. You can't get away from the zombie stuff, can you? Oh yeah, that's it's just it's always there. Damn, <laughs> those weren't zombies. Those were Raiden. Those were angry cauliflowers. Raiden's good. I'll play Raiden. Yeah, I like that a lot. Because I, I just trashed him, so why you not? Keep the beard too. <laughs> They're like, all right, uh, you're going to have to finally, get naked and do I think we got one more. This is my favorite one. What's Raul's favorite Pokemon? This is from the beta bro. Squirtle. <laughs> Only because I like saying Squirtle. Yeah, it's a good word. Or Charizard. Charizard. <laughs> yeah. Squirtle. 